Hi, I'm Craig Ishii, B2B Product Marketing with Logitech. Today, we're going to talk about Zoom's newest feature called Intelligent Director. It's a feature that builds on Zoom Room's Smart Gallery by using multiple cameras plus AI technology to frame participants in their own space during a Zoom meeting. Now, today we're in a room that's outfitted with a rally bar. Plus, on the two corners of the room, you can see behind me, we've got two rally cameras, one positioned on the right-hand side and one positioned on the left-hand side. Now, we've got a whole demo for you today, so we're going to just jump right in. All right, so you can see we're in a Zoom meeting, and this is typically the default view that you get. We've got the entire room. We have all the participants here, but you can see that it's not quite the best perspective for certain people in the room, especially the folks who are here in the back. Now, what we've done is if I click multi-stream, Zoom's come out with Smart Gallery where we are able to see individuals in their own gallery squares like we have here. But again, it's not perfect because we have individuals who are in the back or being blocked by other folks. And it's just not quite the best view for the remote participant. So we've gone from speaker view and group view to this multi-stream view. But let's see what happens when I click Intelligent Director. When I click Intelligent Director, we're now going to use the two cameras that we positioned in the corners of the room here, and we're going to get a multi-stream again, but it's pulling the individuals and it's getting different angles of them so that even those folks like Phoenix, Craig, who are here in the corners of the room, we're getting a view of them. So a little, little bit of a different view. Yeah. And, and the idea is that because we have these different angles, Zoom is doing this all with artificial intelligence. So it's finding the best view of you, and then it's switching you in and out based on where you're sitting, and then it's giving the right camera view, again, based on where you're sitting. Now, the other part that I want to show is, why don't we have, Craig Phoenix, why don't you stand up if you move to a different part of the room here? You're going to see that the auto framing is also going to happen as they move around and stand in a different place. The cameras are still finding them. And again, you see that switch that happened with Phoenix. It's finding the right camera view, and then it's switching in with artificial intelligence. So... That's Zoom's intelligent director. It uses multiple different cameras to find the best view. And again, it just increases the equity of meetings, especially for the folks who are sitting in the back. Now, just a couple of notes on the technical requirements that you're going to need for intelligent director. First, you're going to need a computer with a recent processor and some power in the GPU, as well as at least 16 gigs of RAM. Now, you can find the recommended specs on the Zoom support site. But in addition to that, you're going to also want three identical cameras, or in the very least, at least two identical cameras, in addition to your main conference room camera. And so as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, here in this room, we have our rally bar and two additional rally cameras. Now, rally bar is great for this purpose because it combines clear audio with great optics of the rally camera in an all-in-one package. But you can also use three rally cameras with a third-party audio DSP or a rally plus with two additional rally cameras. And so we hope you enjoyed that. The idea here is better equity in these large rooms. We've heard from so many customers that rooms like this can be particularly challenging. And so with the right investment in equipment and computing power, Zoom Intelligent Director is just another option that we have to increase the meeting equity for those who are in the space, for those who are viewing it remotely. And so that's Intelligent Director. We'll see you next time.